everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new Buddha style uh, video. Today we have, of course, Buddha August 2023, so issue 8 2023. And I'm just going to say it from the beginning, it's not really exciting, but I don't know, maybe some for some people there will be always something to, to, to use. I have in my case, um, of course, because I'm a, I have a subscription already for many, many years, I'm pretty sure that all these uh, patterns, I'll find them in the old uh, issues. But let's take a look to see what Buddha is giving us this month anyway. So we have the cover with a really um, voluminous skirt with pleats. We will see it later in the magazine. They say that this issue is inspired by uh, known uh, brands with uh, nice prints and we will see what we get. The first pattern is a pair of pants, pants 105 that are made in a, a rayon fabric. I see that there is a zipper with a fly. In the front of the pants there are side seam uh, pockets and there is elastic in the waist and I'm not sure but uh, the front zipper I think would be also completely uh, just st only stitched as a, as a, f a fake fly, as a fake zipper but uh, only uh, because you have elastic in the waist. It's a pretty wide uh, pant but of course uh, it's a variation on the classic uh, pull-on pants. Then we have here a blazer which is made in a cotton blend with uh, welt pockets, double welt and with a little bit of uh, shaping here in the back. It's, it's a nice blazer, what can I say? With a two-piece sleeve, yeah. Next, oh these ones they are really Next, next we have a variation of the cover skirt, a pleated skirt and um, here is a little bit of a shorter version of the front skirt. This one is a model that is going up to size 48. They call it um, a sexy pleated skirt. Yeah, well it's made in a crepe. Then we have here a mini skirt and I know that they want to put it a little bit in the designer kind of uh, corner but this is looking really tacky at least with how it's styled here it's, it's really really not nice but uh, I think it could be nice if you make it a little bit longer maybe it can be look uh, can look a little bit more classy here it's looking really trashy in my eyes but uh, you know maybe combination with the sunglasses and these boots, I don't know. This one is made in a jacquard here and I think if you were, it has a zipper in the back, an invisible zipper here in the back, but I think made in um, any kind of stable knit with some stretch of course, maybe you don't even need that zipper in the back. Then we have here one of the classic Burda shirt dresses, I think I've seen this a lot of times. Um, you know, it's a nice uh, dress. This lower part of the skirt is so you have here you have an elastic in the waist, and this lower part of the skirt is getting gathered and then is getting a, a sewn onto the upper part of the skirt. So you are finishing this piece, you finish the upper edge here, and then you gather it and you top stitch it onto the upper part of the skirt. Um, here, this one is also the skirt, the dress is also made in, uh, in a viscose and is coming in sizes 36-44. Then we have here a long shirt. I really like the ribbing that they used here on the sleeves. I think that's a nice touch. I used that in some other things I made and it's really, really nice. Um, it has a straight longer hem at the back and a rounded hem in the front. It's a nice model. I really like the fabric that they used to. This model is also going up to size 48. Then you have here some classic uh, garments. We have a Chanel um, um, blazer and a mini skirt. 
and while these ones can be really nice you know depending on uh, how crazy you go with your tweet it's really this one they used here a boucle i really think the fit on this one is really bad with this dropped shoulder off the shoulder you know maybe because it's open i don't know but i really like this one and might be the the fabric combination the combination they used with with this velvet trim around the um, edges here but this one is a really nice one and i think it could be also nice just as a coat and not so much as a dress but this one is nice this one is coming also to size 48 so 36 to 48 and uh, the little um, jacket with the skirt are sizes 34 42 and here a little bit of extra tips for making this uh, coat dress then we have the first tutorial of this month is for the tunic for the long shirt with the ribbing as uh, cuffs if you don't like you can always uh, put uh, uh, some uh, just make it longer and just put some elastic in or use a um, cuff from a basic uh, classic shirt so again really useful for uh, people that just start to sew nicely explained well my issue is in German so for me it would be really difficult even if uh, with a tutorial like that if I was a beginner sewer then we have the crazy skirt and uh, it's not crazy but it's really really big and I'm pretty sure that it's even bigger in real life if you make this one in a jacquard than it's looking in the pictures I remember I made a pair of um, uh, culottes of uh, you know the white pants but then also with all these splits in a little bit um, similar fabric and it was really a disaster you really need to like the volume to make it in a fabric like this but maybe in a less in a much drapier fabric will look nicer this one is also this is a skirt uh, from the cover of course this is going also to, si to size 48 then we have here and again we we do get some garments that are not in my eyes are not really going with each other you know you have here um the second tutorial in this issue is this uh, little jacket made in quilted fabric with uh, what they used for the sleeves i think th that's boiled wool for the sleeves can be a nice combination uh, 36 to 44 and then the next model in size is 36 to 48 is a jersey uh, shirt with some cute pleats here in the front are they pleats or they are just or they are completely sewn and then you have here another view of it both really <laughs> very clear views here she's sitting down and here she's laying down it's going from uh... anyway then we have here the next uh, pattern is a mini skirt the mini dress they call it but actually they do wear another dress underneath i really like the sleeves and i think this is something that i could use in another pattern there is also a ribbing here for the color you can see it and the same ribbing is used for the cuffs but the nice inverted pleat here at the um, sleeves is, is kind of nice this one is made in jersey and um, with um, ribbing for the collar and for the cuffs then we have another pattern that goes with nothing in this uh, issue or you know could go with some of the things we have a kind of a long vest so it's a sleeveless trench and this one is uh, also sizes 36 to 44 a very I don't know if I'm watching to this picture I only see I see nothing that is inspiring me they have is a, is a shirt is a blouse with this the pockets are kind of nice I'm not sure if so nice for this shirt this is also a model this size 48 um, a basic shirt and of course the star of this shirt are the the pockets made in cotton and I suppose the shirt is made in cotton and the pockets in poplin I guess 
or the other way around. Then we have a polo shirt, also really nothing spectacular, but if you don't have this one, you get it in this issue. It has a nice color with the little um, cuffs, nothing to say about, it's made in jersey and I suppose kind of a stable jersey something, cotton jersey, something like that. Then we have here a dress and I really want to like this dress but it's coming also later in a printed uh, in a print fabric and again I really want to like it but it's looking kind of uh, I don't know maybe because it's it I don't know if it's supposed to look to to feel really loose or something like that although with all these seams here I would think almost that must must be a little bit on the body or I don't know is it I, I really can appreciate all the details the the uh, seaming here in the front and also um, the yoke with a really deep uh, pleat but the something is I don't know it's it's but it's not bothering me but it's not something that I say okay I really want to make it and this one is made in a wool crepe and I'm not sure if there is also a lining in it. And again, a polo style closure. There are a few in this uh, in this um, issue. Okay, then we have again we have uh, something. I, I I wonder why they don't make something that we think that go together. I don't really follow the storyline here. Um, we have a jersey dress, which is kind of nice. They did play a little bit here with the seaming and with the lines, with the, the stripes in the fabric, which is uh, it's, it's nice, with some binding around the neckline. And then we have a shirt, again up to size 48. This one is made in a knitted fabric, with a little bit of cowl here in the front, but I bet this one is a kind of a more structured fabric than we'll see later in a really floppy fabric where where this is, I think somewhere in between will be perfect because the other one is looking like kind of... Okay, let's go further with a dress. This one is made in a cotton and I kind of like all the little details. Really hard to see in their um, dress here, but on one side on the skirt you have little three little pleats and on the opposite side you have on the bodice three little pleats. I hope you can really see it here in the... and it has a pussy bow uh, in the front and the back is getting close with an invisible zipper and you get uh, two darts here at the uh, neckline with a deep cuff with three buttons. Then we have something we have the, this is the, the, the blouse from earlier, but here we get also a um, skirt and I took a look at the instructions. It's very interesting how it's constructed, this, the, the pattern pieces are really crazy. Although I do have a feeling that they did not let hang this skirt at all because I have the feeling that the um, hemline is really all over the place here or just because how the picture was taken. But um, this skirt, it has really, the, the pattern pieces are really, really interesting. Then we have a pair of pants, and here the pants are made in cotton satin. There is elastic in the waist, and I am pretty sure that is the same pattern like the one we've seen uh, in the beginning of the magazine. Only here they added uh, some uh, pockets. Uh, yeah, cargo style pants. Here we have some uh, ideas for styling with the combination with the patterns we get in the magazine. Here is the tutorial for the jacket. Very clear everything with lining and all. A little bit thread inspiration. The designer pattern of this month is a really romantic dress. Um, yeah, this is one of the cases where they think that uh, more is more. <laughs> you have all kind of uh, ruches here around the uh, princess seams and around the neckline and around the hemline. 
and I think this is made in a chiffon I guess yes it's a chiffon with uh, polyester lining I suppose so this will be uh, one of those cases where you really need to make um, test garment to have this really nicely fitted around your bust and in the waist and I think the sleeves the sleeves are of course unlined really beautiful and sweet uh, style I really like this next we have some uh, yes pressing is very very important when sewing totally agree with that then we have again the same pants in another variation well this one are made again in viscose uh, and these ones are longer the ones that we've just seen in cotton they're uh, three quarters or something seven eighths and these ones are full length big city lights city wear and in the city wear we have uh, this is the skirt the skirt the dress we've seen with a little pleats but here they I think this one is another is it just going to go back I know it's not really fun to go back but I need to see where is the skirt on the other dress bear with me I really need to see the where is it now I cannot find it here we have the same dress yes let's see here we have it with an a-line skirt and here they give it to us with a little bit of a more pencil skirt style and of course we get another sleeve because this model is also made in a viscose so I suppose something without stretch they give us a really nice straight uh, sleeve with a little dart here you know to make it a little bit um, comfortable to wear um, nothing much to say about it of course it's a nice variation you have two skirts and two type of uh, sleeves for the same uh, bodies then we have here a pair of pants although here they don't look so uh, white I think on the model they are completely much wider than I was expecting from the drawing um, size is 36 to 48 then we have here blouse in the city wear, city wear collection a simple blouse made in viscose with a nice uh, slit here in the front the pockets the pockets the cuffs or the let's see the cuffs of the sleeves are top stitched with uh, three rows of st stitching something uh, a detail that probably in a solid color will be much more uh, visible we don't get the pants and here we have the dress you know from earlier in orange we have it here in a printed fabric this one is also viscose and again is looking kind of oversized maybe it's just in my eyes the sleeves are too long and would be would benefit if it was just a little bit smaller I guess again with the polo um, closure here in the front and here is a variation on that uh, let's see because this is really shining the light a little bit of uh, a variation a dress variation of that top from earlier where the fabric was much more structured and you got uh, you've seen the color was much more sticking out here is made in um, in a really soft uh, sweater knit I guess like or maybe a viscose uh, jersey so you get a totally different look this is looking so sad here <laughs> maybe because it's black and white oh I, I really want to be positive but I, I can't I really like the jacket here how it's made in this uh, jacquard fabric and I think this is this one is a nice set with a little um, mini skirt this is nice with a Peter Pan kind of um, style of color this is nice then we have the top from earlier here is made in a solid color of course this is a jersey uh, what can I say sizes to 48 not much to say about it and I think we are almost actually we are done well this was kind of disappointing right 
I'm really curious to see to hear your opinions in this. I, I would really love to to see more comments about what you are thinking about the things that you you are getting every month. I do read on some forums that people are kind of disappointing about the Buddha in the last uh, issues, and I must say that sometimes there is nothing that I really like. In these ones, there are things to like, nothing that is jumping to me to say make me, make me, make me. But here you can see all the models, and I'm going to open it up. The next one is going to come uh, on uh, 2 August here in Germany. So I'm going to open it up to see it, to see the models a little bit better. Again, I think this one is an interesting style, but it's looking kind of oversized on the models. I don't know if the style is like that or just the size is wrong for the models. These ones, I'm pretty sure we've seen these ones before in the Burda. We have the trashy dress I should say I can say but I think it's it's a nice it's a nice dress as long as you maybe make it a little bit longer to look a little bit more classy than trashy. Um, these ones are this is actually one of and the same pattern only is made in you have actually on the same pattern you have colorless with uh, this rounded uh, corners color and a more of a classic uh, color you know variations you have the skirt here in two lengths here is just a variation of adding some trims this skirt is really interesting the designer dress which looks to me like more like a you know a German drindle kind of type of uh, pattern <laughs> And this one can be nice, it's really easy to make, I suppose. I really like the treatment of this uh, shirt here with the, the ribbing on the cuffs. And I think that's it. Oh, and something else what I really like this month are these sleeves with a little pleat here um, with the ribbing on the cuffs. So that was it everybody, Burda for this month. I know in my eyes is a little bit of a let, let down but we will see what knip mode has to give us um, in a few days so i hope you enjoyed my review and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment here under the video i really really want to hear what you are thinking am i just really really negative i don't know maybe because of the weather or this burda is just a little bit of a letdown okay everybody take care bye